Why are there not more people talking about these places? Today, we're ditching the mundane, throwing out the map, and diving headfirst into some of the most surreal, mind-blowing places on this planet. Yeah, you heard me right. We're talking about those destinations that look like they were ripped straight from a dream, the kind of places that make you question if you're still on Earth. These hidden gems, forgotten relics, and natural wonders are out there just waiting to be explored, so buckle up, smash that like button, and let's dive into the adventure. Alright, first up, we're teleporting ourselves to the northern reaches of Pakistan, to a place that feels like it was plucked straight from a fairy tale, Kagan Valley. Imagine this, towering peaks capped with snow, glaciers glistening under the sun, and lush green valleys that seem to stretch on forever. This is Kagan Valley, and trust me, the pictures don't even come close to doing it justice. We're talking crystal clear lakes reflecting the sky like perfect mirrors, rivers roaring through the valleys and waterfalls cascading down mountainsides. This place is a hiker's paradise, a photographer's dream, and a haven for anyone looking to escape the noise of everyday life. You can lose yourself for days, weeks even, exploring the hidden trails, camping under a sky full of stars, and just breathing in that fresh mountain air. It's the kind of place that makes you feel small in the best way possible, reminding you of the raw, untamed beauty of the natural world. From the serene beauty of Kagan Valley, we're taking a sharp turn into a landscape that's both eerie and strangely captivating, abandoned nuclear missile silos scattered across the United States. These concrete and steel giants stand as stark reminders of the Cold War, a time when the threat of nuclear annihilation hung heavy in the air. Stepping into one of these silos is like stepping back in time, into a world of secrecy, tension, and unimaginable power. You can almost feel the weight of history pressing down on you as you walk through the deserted corridors, past control rooms frozen in time, and into the vast silos that once housed deadly weapons. It's a sobering experience, a reminder of the fragility of peace and the devastating consequences of conflict. But there's also a strange beauty to these decaying structures, a sense of awe at the sheer scale of human ingenuity, even when directed towards such destructive ends. Next stop, we're heading to the high-altitude plains of Bolivia, to a place that defies logic and messes with your perception of reality. Salar de Uyuni, the world's largest salt flat. Picture this, an endless expanse of blindingly white salt stretching out as far as the eye can see, a landscape so alien and surreal it feels like another planet. During the rainy season, the salt flat transforms into a giant shallow lake, and the surface becomes a mirror reflecting the sky above. Walking across it feels like walking on clouds, an experience that will stay with you long after you've left. Get your cameras ready, folks because we're about to enter a photographer's paradise antelope canyon, a slot canyon in the American Southwest that's as beautiful as it is photogenic. Carved by centuries of wind and water erosion, Antelope Canyon is a masterpiece of natural architecture, a sandstone slot canyon with walls that twist and turn, creating a mesmerizing labyrinth of light and shadow. As you venture deeper into the canyon, the walls seem to close in around you, the sunlight filtering through narrow openings above, casting beams of light that illuminate the sandstone in a kaleidoscope of colors. From deep oranges and reds to vibrant purples and blues, the colors shift and change throughout the day, creating an ever-evolving spectacle of light and shadow. It's like stepping into a painting, a surreal world where nature itself is the artist. Next, we're embarking on a journey to a place that inspired legends, a mountain so unique, so isolated it feels like a remnant of a lost world. Mount Roraima in Venezuela. This isn't your average mountain, no sir. Mount Roraima is a tabletop mountain, or tepui, with a flat top and sheer cliffs that rise dramatically from the rainforest below. It's a sight that'll stop you in your tracks, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. But Mount Roraima isn't just a pretty face. It's home to a unique ecosystem found nowhere else on Earth. The top of the mountain is a world unto itself, shrouded in mist and clouds, with strange rock formations, cascading waterfalls, and carnivorous plants that look like they belong in a sci-fi movie. It's no wonder Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was inspired by Mount Roraima when he wrote The Lost World. This place is a true adventurer's dream, 
a chance to step back in time and explore a world untouched by the modern world. From the lost world of Mount Roraima, we're traveling to a landscape that looks like it was sculpted by the gods themselves, Pamukkale in Turkey, also known as the Cotton Castle. Imagine this, brilliant white terraces cascading down a hillside filled with turquoise blue water, the whole scene looking like a surreal frozen waterfall. That's Pamukkale, a natural wonder formed by thermal springs depositing calcium carbonate over thousands of years. These terraces or travertines are a sight to behold. The water cascading over the edges shimmers under the Turkish sun, creating a dazzling display of light and color. For centuries, people have flocked to Pamukkale not just to marvel at its beauty but also to bathe in the mineral-rich waters, believed to have healing properties. Whether you believe in the healing powers or not, there's no denying the otherworldly beauty of this place. It's like stepping into a dream, a landscape so surreal, so breathtaking it's hard to believe it's real. Remember those breathtaking floating mountains in the movie Avatar? Well get ready to have your mind blown, because we're about to visit the real-life inspiration for those iconic landscapes, Zhangjiajie National Forest Park in China. Prepare to be transported to a world unlike anything you've ever seen before. A world of towering sandstone pillars shrouded in mist with waterfalls cascading down their sides and lush vegetation clinging to their peaks. These sandstone formations, some reaching thousands of feet high, are the result of millions of years of erosion, and the effect is nothing short of breathtaking. Walking through Zhang Jiajie is like stepping onto the set of a fantasy film, with towering peaks that seem to defy gravity, wispy clouds that dance around the peaks, and a sense of tranquility that washes over you as you immerse yourself in this natural wonderland. Hold on tight because we're about to venture into a landscape that's both mesmerizing and terrifying. The Darvaza Gas Crater in Turkmenistan, more commonly known as the Door to Hell. This isn't your average tourist trap, folks. We're talking about a giant crater in the middle of the Karakum Desert that has been on fire for over 50 years. Soviet geologists accidentally punctured a natural gas pocket in the 1970s, and to prevent methane spread they lit it on fire, thinking it would burn off in a few days. Well, it's been over five decades and the crater is still burning, a fiery inferno that illuminates the desert night. Standing at the edge, feeling the heat, is both humbling and exhilarating. Buckle up, because we're about to witness a geothermal spectacle that looks like it belongs on another planet, Fly Geyser in Nevada, a man-made wonder that's as bizarre as it is beautiful. Picture this. A multicolored geyser erupting from the earth, spewing scalding hot water into the air, the water cascading down a series of terraces covered in vibrant, otherworldly hues. This isn't some natural phenomenon, though. Fly Geyser was accidentally created in 1964 when a geothermal energy company drilled a test well that wasn't properly capped. Over time, dissolved minerals from the geothermal water have risen to the surface creating the unique cone-shaped mounds and terraces that characterize Fly Geyser today. The vibrant colors, the constant eruption of water, the sheer strangeness of it all make Fly Geyser a must-see for anyone visiting Nevada. For our final destination, we're heading back to the American Southwest, to a landscape that looks like it was sculpted by a giant paintbrush. The Wave a sandstone rock formation in Arizona that's as beautiful as it is difficult to reach. This place is a hiker's dream and a photographer's paradise, with its undulating sandstone waves, vibrant colors, and a sense of isolation that makes you feel like you've stepped back in time. The wave gets its name from its unique wave-like formations, created by millions of years of wind and water erosion. The sandstone layers with their varying shades of red, orange, yellow, and white create a mesmerizing visual spectacle, a testament to the artistic prowess of Mother Nature. Getting to the wave is no easy feat though. Access is limited to just 20 permits per day, awarded through a highly competitive lottery system. But for those lucky few who do snag a permit, the reward is well worth the effort. So, there you have it folks, 10 of the most surreal places on Earth, from the soaring peaks of Pakistan to the fiery depths of Turkmenistan. These destinations are proof that adventure is out there, waiting to be discovered, if you're willing to look for it. Remember, this planet is full of surprises, 
full of places that will challenge your perception of reality and leave you breathless with wonder. So get out there, explore, and don't forget to share your adventures with the world. Thanks for joining me on this journey to some of the most surreal places on Earth. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing travel content. See you in the next adventure!